Hey there, we're going to be doing uh, number 11 on page 197. It's called the Gasket A. Um, the big instruction that is missing from it is to encourage you to use the tangent tangent radius uh, circle. So here we go. Let's start out by doing a new drawing. And I'm going to have to apologize now. There's going to be a big lag and glitches going on at the same time because my video card isn't amped up. So here we go. Let's start with setting your limits. The first limit you want to enter in is 0, 0. So I'm just hitting 0, tab 0, hit enter. And then your second um, coordinate is 8, 6. 8, tab 6. Go ahead and hit enter. Um, and now we're going to draw a bunch of circles. So let's start with our first circle, if I can spell it correctly. Uh, and then I'm going to put that at 1, 1. The directions on page 197 don't give you an exact starting spot, so let's make it simple. 1, 1. All right. Um, and let's make the radius 0. 0.5. All right. So you can see it's starting to get a little laggy and glitchy. Sorry about that. All right. Let's make another circle inside of there, again, at 1, 1. And we're going to make that radius 0.25. All right. Now I want to copy this. So I'm going to type copy. And I'm going to, come on, computer, catch up with me. I'm going to select my two circles that I've just drawn and hit enter and then I'm going to put my mouse in the center I'm going to move it over and I'm going to hit F8 so I know it's straight um, I want the over to be 3 and then I also want it to go straight up 2 hit escape I'm going to copy this top circle or two circles, I guess. Copy those, click and click, hit enter, click the center, bring that over three also. And then hit escape. All right, so I've got, I've got four circles. Now I wanna draw some tangent lines. So I wanna type in line, and I'm gonna type in tan, and I want to go to the top and just draw a straight line across. Again, I'm going to hit tan here so that it's tan with the top. Get on there. All right. So I'll go straight, straight down. You don't really need this vertical line. I'm just going to put it on there. And I'm going to go straight across. Make sure my tangents line up. Hit escape. Uh, yeah, you don't need the vertical line if you want to just do two horizontal lines tangent to each other. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some circles. And I'm going to go down here to the TTR one. And I'm going to click that. And I'm going to click this outside top part. Don't click the uh, where everything intersects. I want to go slightly to the right of it. So I'm going to circle TTR. I'm going to go like the top right quad quadrant and then I'm going to go to the bottom right quadrant of this other circle. And then that uh, radius is going to be 3. You can see it pop up there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I can't wait to get this computer fixed. There we go. Click there. Click there. Type 3 for the radius. I'm going to double click my mouse so I zoom out. And then I want to trim some stuff away. So I hit trim. I hit uh, enter, 
And now I can trim that away. Trim that. Enter, and I want to trim away this bottom part here. All right, so far so good. Now I want to do a tangent line, or I'm sorry, an offset. So I need to find my offset tool it's right there or you can just type in offset I want to collect this horizontal line I want to bring it down 0.75 and then it asks you what do you want to I want to click that again bring it down 0.75 click it again and there it is all right, so now I'm gonna do the bottom one. I'll just type offset. I'm gonna offset this bottom line. Bring it up, 0.75. Click it again. And there it is. All right, there's going to be lots of trimming involved. Okay, let's go back to the circle, create a tangent, tangent radius. So I want to click this inside circle. I want it to be tangent. And then I want this inside circle. And the radius is 0.56. So there's that. I want to do the same thing on the other side. Tangent, tangent radius. You know, you could just split this thing in half, do half of it, and then mirror the other half. That's one way to do it. So I'm just doing it this way. So you could do, so tangent with this circle, tangent with this circle, type 0.56 for the radius. All right, hit escape. And now I want to start trimming some stuff away. So now all we need to do is trim stuff away. So I'll hit trim, enter, and figure out what needs trimmed away. Let's see, this needs taken away. So now you're probably starting to see, see it come together. Lots of trimming. Trim uh, this, these two inside circles, and then we're pretty much done. So when you're doing smaller lines or more detail, it's probably easier to just zoom in. So there we go. Now make sure you save it as gasket A. Go here, save as, make sure it's in your uh, AutoCAD folder, thanks.